my good buddy, pilot and engineer Kester, has been working on a crazy new project. And today, I finally get to see it in action. For seeing it, it's way more epic than I thought. I can't wait to see this thing actually fly. How fast do you go? I'll probably go faster than you. It's hilarious. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? OK, so I'm on my way to meet a great friend of mine who I've done a lot of adventures with over the years. He's helped us on running wild behind the scenes, uh, get ready for things like paragliding and paramotoring. He has flown all sorts of crazy machines all over the world. But one thing he's never shown to anyone yet is something he's built himself. I don't think there really is a word to describe this apart from it's like a cross between uh, like a, 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 a Actually, I can't even think of words. Come with me, check this out, you'll love it. First of all, how are you? I'm good, man. Nice it's so to good see to see you. Thanks yeah, for inviting good. me to this part of the world. Well, the thing is, for those people watching this who know North Wales, it's not often sunny without wind and rain. So yeah. we have to make use of these things. And I'd be so excited to see this because we've spoken about this for a while. And I was trying to describe badly, in fact, I failed to the camera. <laughs> How would you describe it? Um, so it's a ground effect aircraft. You're using the cushion of air that's then trapped beneath the wing and the surface of the water to gain efficiency. Yeah. So just like a, um, a seabird glides close to the water yeah. to save energy. And just that's an inspiration for me. This is like a tarpaulin. <laughs> it's pretty basic stuff. I reckon it's like a cross between a seaplane, a pedalo, a paramotor, <laughs> And then, and then something danger mouse might have flown. Yeah, well, the, uh, the Russians built Ekrana plans years ago. They were huge things. And that was another inspiration for me building this. So I don't have to have very big wings either. Small amount of power, small wings, and I can go pretty fast. I mean, it's so cool. <laughs> it wasn't like you saw somebody else doing this. No, this is just, I love making things fly and yeah, I've been thinking about this one for a long time and it's finally materialised. Well, I know you've always spoken about it and, and it's hard to kind of visualise, but seeing it, it's way more epic than I thought. I can't wait to see this thing actually fly. Are you okay to fly it? Yes. Yeah, Shall we go? How fast do you go? Um, I'll probably go faster than you. Maybe I'll loop back round. So basically it's a race time. around the island. All right, perfect. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> what's, a, what's a forfeit? <laughs> Drinks tonight. I was off to a strong start as Kester's plane seemed to struggle against the choppy waves. I was beginning to think we might even win this. But it looks like I spoke too soon. With Kester now airborne and disappearing into the horizon fast, it was soon clear that the chances of winning this race were low. Sometimes you've got to also know when you're beat. Yeah, well, he is definitely faster. Oh. Uh, the waves have suddenly got quite big here, but it's amazing because he was getting really bounced around until you could almost see us. this power of the cushion of air lift him up, and then once he was out of the water, he was gone. We weren't. Everyone all right out there? You guys got a, you got a smash, wow. But it's amazing, once he's, there, boy, he's so fast. He's only reckon, what, 50 mile an hour? Yeah, that's the way to travel. It's not the first time I've said that. Like, we end up hanging out with so many cool people doing so many cool things. It's like I always come back, I go, honey, we we're, we're, we're ditching the car, we're getting a new method of transport. And um, it doesn't always pass, pass the family limits this. Hey boys, we're, we're the school commute. We've just <laughs> had a serious upgrade. 